Hello, thanks for joining me. Uh, today we're going to tie a pike um, or musky clouser. We have a number two saltwater hook and we have some six hot black uni thread. Very simple fly, very productive. The color combination specially designed for pike and musky. So we're just going to dress the hook, go down to about halfway. This is the clouser. Clouser fly. I'm just going to make a bump to tie in some dumbbell eyes. Okay. Just get these guys like so. Tie them in like that. And then what I like to do is I like to go over, under, over, under, over, under. That really locks them down. And I like to go around the base. A little wiggle test. I like to rotate them towards me. So that's away from you guys. I just take a little hard as hole. Apply a dab of super glue right there, and then apply a dab of super glue like so, and some along the shank. This fly is very good for uh, late season, if you will. Uh, like right about right around now, uh, you know, November, October, uh, this, this time. So we're gonna take some black bucktail. Zoom out. Just see how, you guys can see how long this is. This is this is a fairly small one. It's number it's number two. We're, I like these sparser and fatter. So it's a good amount of black bucktail. Okay, it's a good amount. You're gonna want it maybe two or three inches off the back. Um, you know, ten centimeters, something like that. Whatever works great for you. So just so I can only tighten up the vise. Okay, so then I'll do a loose wrap with these butts. About quarter of an inch and let the bucktail stick straight up. I'll just trim them pretty flat off right here. You want to add a little taper to them if possible. Uh, so you get a nice little cone head like so. Nice little cone head. So we're going to go behind the eyes and just bucktail down do a few wraps spiral on back and then what makes us fly durable we're going to do touch and turns all the way up with our black thread Okay, rotate it upside down. Take a combination of green, blue, and black fla uh, pearl flash or flash blue accent, crystal flash. I've just colored these with sharpies, and I took, you know, sharpie stuff like this. Uh, I took five of gr uh, five of black, five of blue, um, slash purple, and three of green. Uh, I'm just gonna tie a bundle of that on on each side. Like so. This makes for an excellent com uh, color combination. And then what you do is you just uh, blend them together with a piece of Velcro. Uh, this makes a very good color combination, especially for pike and whatnot. And you're just going to want those little bundles off to the side. Just want to pull them and try to tuck them under the eyes like so. 
finish turned down. Straighten those out. Okay, so take some purple bucktail. I, I like to use a pretty light purple. Uh, and we're going to want probably the same amount of that as black. And we're going to want about the same length. Uh, however, we don't want taper. Generally, I'll extend this just a little longer uh, beyond the black. So, just tie that in like so. Trim it off. Now you just want to try to finish up ahead. Okay, then just pull this bucktail material through. Okay, and let me uh, do it with my whip finisher here. Here's my whip finish tool. And we're just going to wet finish. And then apply head cement. And you have very good pike musky late season fly. I hope it works great for you. This has worked very good for me. A lot of, a lot of fish in this game. I really don't know what tries to imitate. Another great one. Won't tie. But it's all black bucktail. Same red eye, red dumbbell eyes. Um, all black bucktail with just green purple, uh, crystal flash in there. It's very good. Um, and of course you can tie them with non-lead alternatives. So the lead eyes. Uh, thank you very much. Thanks for joining me. And please request any videos you'd like to see uh, be, being tied. Thanks. Tight line stall.